Flight sims have become increasingly popular over recent years and to really get the best out of them you need the right peripherals to really give you that totally immersive experience. Now there's plenty to choose from on the market depending just how far you want to take your setup but things can start to get expensive. So a great starting option is a HOTAS and that stands for hands-on throttle and stick and it refers to the throttle lever and flight control stick that's similar to what you'd find in an aircraft's cockpit with the same or similar buttons and switches. Now the Raptor Mac 1 is a great option if you're after a HOTAS that's not going to break the bank. It includes the Mac 1 joystick and the throttle at a great price point and it's been designed for use with all aviation and combat simulations. In terms of what you get in the box, well it's these two parts here. You get the throttle and the joystick which connect together via USB. It's a well-built piece of kit and both parts feel sturdy. It's also been nicely designed too with all the buttons that you'd expect to find and where you'd expect them to be. So really easy to get your head around even if you've never used a HOTAS before. I personally like the orange accents too which they've added which makes it a little more eye-catching than if it were all black. The ergonomic design helps you to avoid muscle fatigue if you're going to be playing for long stints and for me the size and shape of both is perfect in my hand. They feel nice and smooth and comfortable. However, if you've got particularly large hands like my colleague Andrew, you might find it a little small and the trigger did sometimes catch his middle finger. The base of each of these is nicely weighted so although they come with pre-drilled holes, if you choose not to fix it to your desk this way, then it shouldn't move around due to the weight and it's got added pads on the bottom that also grip. The throttle's acceleration lever provides a really smooth movement and you can adjust its resistance using the dial on the left with a sensitivity of 1024 steps which is great and it makes it suitable for all types of flight sims. It features rotary buttons on its X and Y axis which have 265 positions and five configurable buttons A to E plus an eight-way hat switch which allows you to change your point of view during play. The joystick doesn't have as much resistance to it as say some of the more expensive HOTAS sticks like the Warthog but this adds to the fact that this combo is versatile for all kinds of flight sims and it also helps to avoid fatigue. It uses electromagnetic sensor technology so you get precision and reliability and it features two hat switches which are configurable within your game. A useful feature that they've added is that the pinky trigger can be folded forward out of the way should you prefer that option. And combined with the throttle, this combo has the potential to configure up to 32 actions. The Raptor Mac 1 combo is easy to set up. You just connect the joystick to the throttle using the USB and then the throttle to your PC. The cables from each are 2 meters long so should be plenty long enough even if you have a full cockpit setup. You can then configure both within the game using the options and control settings. So if you're after a reasonably priced HOTAS for your flight sim setup, then this could be the one for you. It's got great features, style and design at a price that won't break the bank. And of course, you can get yours now at scan.co.uk. <laughs>